Hello everybody, we're back on Alan Wake Remastered streaming this week. Uh, I've obviously come off my Baldur's Gate addiction and having withdrawal symptoms so we're playing through Alan Wake Remastered, this classic game I've never played before. I think it's going to be a really great time. So we played through in the last uh, episode, I will call it, uh, we played through chapters 1 and 2. Lots of weird things happened. Uh, I did a bit of hooning around on some donuts. And then, um, yeah, we're, we're going to keep going uh, with chapters 3 and 4. So, without further ado, let's continue the game. Previously on Alan Wake. Previously Alice on Alan Wake. Where is Alice? 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 I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Barry is the best. This is what we've learned. The ransom is He's a I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. This is the really giving. Is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Also, I'm cosplaying the creepy mm. veil lady. If you haven't figured How that out already, how did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, Barry. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI. He the FBI's here. here. See you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. This happens to all Let's novelists. Let's make this quick, huh? All novelists go Help through this. Folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Yeah. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? Barry. Wake. Barry Ryder, wants to know. I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trail. That Rose. Hey, Justin. Nice Always pays her rent on time. Yeah, I've as fixed I up the saying, brightness. I noticed. I found all sorts of weird stuff from the weird local stuff. newspapers archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, Just FYI. You ain't wrong, I. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. <laughs> I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. I really wonder how many Stephen King novels Sam Lake has actually read because this is just like channeling all of them. Um, also funny. Uh, come that, on, Mister. Come, I'll Mister. Take you to Rose's trailer. Yeah, I know, but I want to look for pages in my manuscript. They're going to punish me if I don't get all of them. I'm just going to run around randomly and look for them. Where could they be? Can't jump over there. I think this is the kind of game you might want to like explore a bit more. Okay, so this is a pet peeve of mine in gaming when characters tell you to hurry up because you're like, you're busy exploring the environment and the characters are like, hey, come with me and I'll show you the next plot point. Um, but anyway, we'll just follow this guy in the military capris. Checkpoint reached. I do want to check down here and see if there's any other valuables. Can we find any more coffee pots? Weird newspapers? Windshield clean. We just threw someone's pot plant. Nothing around here. I'm very concerned that if I can't find all Listen, the pages of this manuscript. This place don't run itself. See? They hassle. They hassle these characters. I'd love to give you a bit of a, like, nudge. What is this? Yeah, oh, that's a boat. That? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. That is a boat, my friends, and it's just... Oh, nobody's, like, break, bothered. Mister. Can we just get a move on? Uh, dude, I am, like, standing over here. Stop hassling me, video game man. 
Let's go to Rose's trailer. Come on. Okay. I know, I get the point. I know you want me to come over here. He Alan was such a jerk to Rose by the way in the first chapter. He was like she's like I'm your biggest fan. Barbara Jagger drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. Thanks Barry. Lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. They will never The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Job or stuff. Oh, anyway, the scratching uh, hag. Is that me? To the best part. Is that me? All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy I am the scratching lady. hag. What? The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Or anything. The lamp lady. Oh my gosh, she is the log lady. She is the log lady. And she had some kind of a breakdown. Hey, Valtasia. I've got my new my new femme fatale hat. Well, it's not that new. I've I just have like costumes upon costumes in my wardrobe. Like I just love a fancy dress party, and I thought I'd put it on for our um scary veil lady tonight in Alan Wake, and our mate here is just taking us for a walk around a trailer park while we just kind of look at boats that have crashed into into well, here. Mister, this here's Rose's trailer. It's Rose's trailer. Do you mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Thank you. Yes, I like my hat. I, I love this hat. I wore it for my um, double exposure book launch when uh, I wrote a kind of noir novella, which is like a weird, weird Welcome noir to, story. To, oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes. Yes, please come in. Yeah, the Barry's puffer jacket, it's giving me hey, it's giving me this everything. Is really good. I love Barry. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. I I'm think used to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Do you uh, think she's being yeah. a little weird? Do you think oh, maybe she's possessed? Oh. Barry. Oh. What? Oh, she drugged the coffee. Barry's what? down. Barry's down. What? Don't drink coffee, Alan. He's had too much coffee. Oh boy. This would be a fun cosplay, Rose. He's back in the light. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. <laughs> I promised I'd come visit you. And your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Yes. Ha 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 ha. You must turn the lights on. <laughs> turn the light on. <gasps> Back to work, boy. <sighs> <sighs> Creepy veil lady. She's making an appearance. <laughs> I know the weird talking light from the sky. It's I like... felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Where are I we? I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. <laughs> She's, so She's very strict. I I'm running faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Oh man. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows oh, more of this than I do. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances. I'm Thomas sorry, but this like little shrine to Alan is just sure. the best thing in this it's game so far. <laughs> also, what's that photo with him and his speed dealers? Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. Does she have all Alan Wake books on the shelf too? Is that all Alan Wake? No. Medicated to Hate. The Within Side. Web M. She must be a bit of a programmer on the side. Look at this. This is hilarious. Oh, there's that Creepy Man's book. Believed to Change with the Face on it. I'm just looking for the Easter eggs, really. 
Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cooking with corn. 72 tasty recipes. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Okay, girl. Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Cool. Maybe not because you drugged my coffee cup. What else is there? More Alan Wake novels. Oh my Barry god. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> Poor Barry. I do like right. that they put some snoring in there so you know that he's still alive. So, Alright, let's get out of here and find my, gun and my manuscript. Were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Any manuscript pages over here? Oh, let's read this. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Mr. Randolph has called the police. I mean, I do really like how they use the manuscript pages to tell part of the story as well. So the more you collect, the more story you get. I don't think there's anything out the back here, maybe? No. Would be great to play through this and find all of the pieces and all the little Easter eggs. Because there's a lot to find. You can find in the, um, it's a list of it, kind of what you've done in the statistics. So, obviously I'm going to get some flashbangs, some indirect kills. But yeah, there's things like I haven't found, you know, alarm clocks or standees. Anyway. We will see. Well, JMB, you've got to type slower. That's the main thing. Let's go into some of these weird old houses. Oh, there's a radio here. Turn on. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. The weather's getting Nights heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> Is it just me? I do like it when games use sound really well to, like, you know, create atmosphere. Nothing down here. All right, let's just go back the way we came. Surely there'll be some of those uh, shadow ninjas to to spook us. <sighs> so what's been happening today? I have been working on my novel yet again. I ain't been drinking either. We hope that Alan's not been drinking. He may have been, given what's been going on with his mind so far. Get to the car. We're going to be doing some more driving today on the stream, which is going to be hilarious given the last time. The last time I basically uh, GTA'd a whole bunch of shadow zombies or whatever they are. Can't see anything over here. Let's get to that car, hey? Oh, you're going to get it now. I'm getting it now. The cops are coming. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This what did I do? Jail. FBI, get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Are we doing bullet time now? Alan Wake's a pretty good action hero, considering he's just a tweedy rider. I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! <laughs> I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Yeah, let's let's find that kidnapper. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to go that way. We're gonna run away from the lights, escape the police. Forgot what the... Ah, oh, there he is. L1 for run. 
I know I'm kind of I'm kind of in this weird like state of like how do I use the controls again after like three days off this game we really need like a stealth mode this is really giving me fugitive vibes like I don't know if you guys love the fugitive as much as I do uh, just got the uh, 4k version uh, apparently it has very good sound oh damn, oh, damn. Come on. Oh. He needs to work on his cardio, Alan Wake. He's so unfit. He's so unfit. Okay, catch your breath, mate. Catch your breath. Let's go. Run through the light. This is a very linear kind of like... <laughs> yeah. Fugitive is awesome. It's such a great film. Into the forest, because nothing bad ever happens in the forest to Alan Wake. Ooh, that looks like a manuscript page down there. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. He's gone. I love how the cops also announce everything they're doing. Alright, what does this manuscript page say? The dark presence sleeps. For decades. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Mm. Barbara likes novelists. I get it. You know, we're pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, Alan Wake needs to go running more often. He really needs to do more, like, some, maybe some gym classes. Whoa! Um, sorry guys, like, I did not cause that accident. Let's have, oh, there's a manuscript page over there. I like that they glow in the dark. Thank you, manuscript page. All right, we are going this way. What does this one say? Oh, Rose visited by the dark presence. Also, I'm curious what this is, like what these symbols mean. There are a lot of manuscript pages in this level, by the way. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. Wow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Pretty girl! Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Yeah, I don't think Alan's used to kind of so much cardio. I think he's just like used to writing novels, which to be honest, like as someone who writes novels, there's a lot of sitting on your butt. There's a lot of like not doing much and just thinking and, you know, screaming at your page and then, you know, getting up to get a coffee. Uh, so it really is just, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not as sexy as Alan Wake makes it look. <laughs> But I guess the whole point of this is that, like, the whole idea is that his story has come to life. This level has a lot of running, and I've got to say, there is a lot, lot of, lot of cardio. Come on, Alan. This is running. The whole level is running. I don't mean to go down here. Yeah, okay. Didn't know you could fall off bridges here. Alright, why do I feel like this is totally gonna, like, fall down on me? Yeah. Lights have gone off. <laughs> I can't say that this is, like, the most exciting level. <laughs> this horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. They were after a writer, not a monster. 
Yeah, I um I agree with you there, Al. Mm. Checkpoint reached. He's really like going for trail run here. Should have worn better shoes. All right, we gotta run now. You on the ground. Hold it right there. We're just gonna catch There's the no breath and run. then run. He just runs so doofy. It's just like I'm literally. What's this? Was that something? I don't know what that was. He's got to get out of his cowboy boots and like actually get some trainers on. Look at this guy. All right, come on, mate, up the stairs. Should we look for a piece of the manuscript? Let's go up the stairs first. There's weird things going on in the background. Okay, I I have to say I think episode three is feeling a little little empty. <laughs> Look, toggle zoom. Let's see what's going on here. There is the gas station, and then there's a fire near the gas station. That's really not helpful. Fire and gas do not mix. I'm just looking to see if there's any other weird Easter eggs around the place. Nope. All right. Anything good in here, like a flare gun? It's a coffee pot. And a radio. Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they would... Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Sit down and give me that. Mm. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh... Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. I love it when Wheeler's people are like hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of old scotch about him, you know what I mean? Oh really? Over. Someone's been drinking, uh, have they? I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh Gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. Mm. I love how the ra the police are just announcing exactly what they're doing on the radio, so it's just kind of like, cool. I don't need to worry. I'm just hearing. I'm hearing what you're doing. All right, we are going back to do do do. Getting my stream manager up. Yeah, let's uh, let's go. Oh, can we look at this? What's in this one? Can we see where we're going? I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. The radio station. That's where you have to go, just like Fallout. I do love that quest in Fallout, which, you know, has been an option for streaming because it's so popular right now because everyone's like, oh, this game called Fallout. This TV show's awesome. Turns out the game's pretty good too. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Main seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Now we've got to go to the coal mine. I, I'm really struggling to keep track of all the objectives in this game because it's kind of like the the logic links between plot points is a little thin sometimes. All right, that's... Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without it. I need to find a torch. I need to find a torch. All right, let's get ourselves some light. Ooh. There was no power to the searchlight. Thanks, thanks, Alan. But there is coffee, so that's okay. Should we set up a generator? Yeah, let's start that thing. I'm going to feel like an expert at starting generators. Oof. Why did these... Here we go. L2 boost. There we go. Done and done. Done and done and done. I will be so interested to see how kind of 
Alan Wake 2 develops on this because like I can already see how much better control is from this you know it's kind of like you see the progression of kind of more sophisticated narrative design and kind of world building there all right checkpoint reached oh is that yeah we don't have a torch so we're just going to keep going down the hill Basically, this is Alan Wake's hiking simulator. Alright, more luck. Uh, does that mean there's a bad guy here? Oh, pick up flashlight! We've got a flashlight, friends! Anything else around here we need to know about? Anything around the back, like supplies? There might be good stuff behind this birch tree or beech tree. Nope. This creepy weird light. Yeah, come on. Yeah, get out of here, weird gate. I'm really interested to find out kind of what me a moment to recognize the, the flash bang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for Ooh. my situation. Yeah, I'm kind of really interested to see how this plays out in terms of Is there a radio I can listen into over here? No. So we're gonna throw a flashbang when it's useful. What's up here, I wonder? Any more manuscript pages? Do I get cool stuff? No. I just like exploring and seeing what's around here. Because it's actually quite, it feels quite big. And I'm curious how they've kind of managed the level design here. Because it does feel very, there's points where it just feels like an absolute forest. Like you're just like, I don't even know where I am. You feel so... I know I use the word discombobulated. Oh yeah, this mate. I don't actually have- oh. Yeah, okay. We need to run and get out of here then. Let's go down to the- hmm. We don't actually have any weapons, so this will be- Let's get back on the path and- find our way. Who cares about manuscript pages? I just want to get out of here alive. Oh. Yep. Go. Bye bye, boys. Is that a weapon? Are there weapons? Oh yeah. And there's torches. Let's listen to the radio. More flashbangs. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. <laughs> there's a big ruckus down at the trailer park. What's going on down the trailer park, my friends? The big ruckus. Hey, manuscript pages. Except evil men on the. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah. Sound and Fury. What trophy did I just get? Blasted four taken to ashes with a single flashbang. Love a trophy. Trophy's always fun. Where's that piece of my book? I really wish this is how my novel wrote itself. Like, I, I just wish that... Okay. Rose touched by the dark presence. Touched by the dark presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray. Hey, colors. Cripple Gamer! The lady had promised her that we have a hat. would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleepy pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was... Yeah, so Rose, our poor uh, waitress, has been possessed by um, the evil lady. 
who I am cosplaying, who's called Barbara. We found out. She's Babs. She's Babs. How's your day been so far, Crippled Gamer? It, I assume it's like morning, early morning, so you might not have had much of a day yet. I've been, uh, like I was saying, I've been working on my novel. Oh, these mates. We've got flashbangs now, so everything is okay. Whoa, I just exploded myself there. Oh. This guy's with sickles now. Yeah, we don't want that. So let's keep going down the road. Ah, Alan Wake is just like... He's like... Oh, the cops are up there. Let's not go there. We're gonna go through the forest, I reckon. Up this way. Oh, ghost cops. Whoa. Yeah, ghost cops be gone. Let's get to that radio station. It's up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was thinking you probably, like, you know, it's early in the day. The day's just awoken. Oh, there we go. Radio station. Weird scythe bearing cops. There you go. I love these flashbangs. Why didn't I have them earlier in the game? So essentially, this is all about whether Alan Wake should just start a podcast or not. He's like, he's like, I'm a novelist. Why don't I have a podcast now too? Where can we get this door? I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Oh, more coffee. Let's get some coffee. I, uh, yeah, what, what am I doing? I'm, yeah, I've been working just really solidly on my novel, so it's weird to go and play a game about writing a novel. Community radio. Hey, I remember that Alan in the first episode was like, I don't want to go in community radio. Community sucks. So, I'm looking forward to hear this interview playing out. Hey, bro. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. I think you should lock the door and just be like, no, mate, you were rude. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. The cops are here. <laughs> Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You got to listen to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone comes. That's my favorite line so far. Oh, Nowhere to run, Dan Brown. Jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Yeah, what is wrong with you? There's two civilians in there. Alan Wake is still a civilian. He's innocent until proven guilty. <sighs> Alright. Oh my gosh. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. That's quite possibly my favorite line. You hear me, H.P. Lovecraft? I don't think he's much like H.P. Lovecraft. For one, H.P. Lovecraft didn't travel very much. Uh, two. I think he needs to have more cats. Nightingale in the radio Nightingale station. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Oh my gosh. Um. So... Yeah, I so I am interested in your thoughts, Crippled Gamer and Justin, because I am. Oh, I need those. <laughs> I'm kind of having like I've had my little Baldur's Gate break. This will only take a couple of sessions to play through, and I'm interested in what you reckon I should stream next. Like, what would be fun? Um, and I've been tossing up. Do I? 
More evil sheriffs. Oh yeah, that's my bullet time. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. I want a flashback. I thought I had flashbangs. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna run. I don't have any weapons here. Okay, I've got, I've got. Oh. <laughs> I should just run around in circles like any good gamer. All right, let's get down to that stuff. I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Okay, some good stuff here. I can't believe he's, all the flashbangs have just fallen out of his pocket. That's just rude. Let's go get that gun ASAP. Stopped here for the time being. Okay, let's get away from. Okay, we need the gun. Okay. Oop. This is like lumberjack man. All right. Yeah, so anyway, my question is, I'm curious what you think, because I have been trying to figure out and struggling a little bit about what I should stream next, because I had so much fun with Baldur's Gate, and I'm wondering whether I should do... Yeah, you can't get me in here, bro. You know, you can't get me in here. Um, so I've been thinking whether I do Dragon's Dogma 2, whether I pick a copy of that up, or whether I... Alright, that guy's down. kind of want to see what's up here, because there might be manuscript pages. Although I don't know how much I want to fight up here. Creepy music, creepy sounds. I think this is going back up to the radio station, but let's just have a quick look up here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just not sure what to stream next. Maybe because Baldur's Gate was so good, and now I feel sad that it's done. <laughs> I don't know that I can play it one more time. I feel like my capacity... I need a little breaky. I'm just going to keep running up this hill, I suppose. More cardio. Really hope there's something at the top of this hill, or I've just run up here for no purpose whatsoever. He's done. He's done his trail running for the day. Come on, up the hill. Well, there's coffee up here, so there was a benefit to. Hey, we got a coffee trophy. 25 coffee thermoses. It's all a writer needs to keep writing, to be honest. I realize I'm going in the complete opposite direction to where I'm meant to go, but that's fine. He's just gonna keep running up the hill. Oh, there's a... Okay, there is a big old radio station or some kind of power tower. Is this all part of the plot to turn the lights back on? Hey, manuscript page. Danny had stepped out, but what stumbled back in was something else. Something alien. A monster. Walter tried to kill it. First with his fists, then a chair. It wouldn't die. Instead, it kept coming, unaffected by the beating it had taken. After Walter managed to kick it down the cellar stairs, Fear took over. He ran, got behind the wheel, gunned the engine. The booze wouldn't make him forget, but he knew he had to try. Knew he had to try. <sighs> oh, more players. Okay, that's good. I'm glad we walked up here. They're helpful. 
can't actually go anywhere. So I just ran up this entire hill for a couple of flares and a manuscript page. So I suppose if you're a completionist, it's good to run up the hill. And now we have to go all the way back down the hill. Good stuff. Can I take a shortcut? Not without dying. I feel like too, I feel like Alan's cardio should get better as he's running down the hill, so maybe gravity helps. No. This is how I had my running accident, was running too fast down the hill. Whoa! Okay, we need to swap over to... Yeah, okay, let's just, let's just keep running. Girl Gamers from Belgium. I believe. If my memory serves me correct. Oh my gosh, this whole game is just Alan Wake needing to go to the gym. He's just dying, even running down the hill. <laughs> Those birds. I should probably just duck them, hey. <laughs> I don't want to really waste my resources on annoying birds. Yeah, we're just gonna keep walking down the hill. I do love how the color. I think it's the color they've kind of adopted in um in. I'm gonna use up all my. Flares getting back down this hill a bit. It just tumbles with you. Yeah, the colour with the flare and then the um Oh okay. Definitely these guys need the flares. Okay. Oh my gosh, these guys are tough. I don't have any flashbangs either. Oh, there, there we go. I gotta reload my weapon! Out of ammo, great! Well, we are just... We're just running for it, guys. We are out of ammo. Let's make a move. Wow, these guys are really, really rough. Okay, we are now going to run for this because we need to get some health and some ammo. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost oh, as if they still, they're left still for someone fine. like to use. Whoa, they're still even. Whoa. Hey, he should be dead from that light. Why are the power lights here? Oh god. Oh hi SH team. Thanks for coming from India. This is nice to have lots of people from around the world watching my stream. I love it. I've been to India as well actually. A lot of my high school friends were Indian. Oh my god the game did not save after we ran up that hill so now I don't care about it. I'm not going back up there. Okay which way are we going? Have you played uh, Alan Wake, SH? Okay, we've got that guy down. Now we just need to. Oh, maybe we need to get. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost Let's as get if a flashbang, a someone revolver. like me to use. It's like someone put it here as a plot device. Yeah, oh, hey, the darkness controls the Taken. We've got a shotgun now, so that's good. Shotgun, Annie. Oh! Oh no, there's a whole, a whole bunch of... Yeah, we're gonna throw that. No, we want the flashbang. Okay, so that's that's done some damage. 
Oh, there's more people. I don't think I've managed this resourcely. Whoa, he's getting hammered. Let's get out the door. Let's get out the door. Yes. Dodge. Dodge, mate. Oh, God. Okay, well, we know that. We know that there's a lot of bad guys conglomerated in this area. So, let's just make sure we've got... There's lights. Let's go get those resources again. And let's not get killed, eh? Alright, I'm getting out of this room as quick as I possibly can. Okay, so let's throw a flashbang. Let's get everyone here. I don't know how that actually helps. I've got a crowd control a bit in this game. Whoa, sneaky guy. Oh, mate, mate, I'm getting like hammered. All right, let's get out of here. Let's let's run away again because that's always a good strategy. Whoa. Oh, boy. Mate, this. Oh, God. Alan Wake can't dodge to save life. I just blame Alan, not me. It's not my fault. Oh, Assassin's Creed Mirage! I love AC and I haven't played Mirage. That's one of the few I haven't played. So I... How about we go turn some lights on before we go into that room that is going to wake everyone up. You wouldn't recommend longer than a weekend on Assassin's Creed Mirage or going to Belgium? Okay, now we have a shotgun. Okay. Let's stand near these guys. Let's start off with at least picking one off, right? Okay, that's one down. Set battery, reload. Okay, here comes big old country boy. Oh! Oh, I dodged that guy like a pro! Yeah, we need that now. Alright, we've got... Just have to concentrate a little bit while we're... Whoa! Okay, we definitely need another while I stand in the light. Okay, we've got that guy down. There's another guy here. Oh, bro, bro. Yeah, okay, we just need to crowd control some more. Okay, we're gonna totally use the flashbang. Okay, this guy. Okay. Whoa, whoa. All right. And then. Oh, man. All right. I think we have dealt with the problem. All right. Yeah, now we have a show. <laughs> it feels very diehard, right? It's like, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Should we go back in here? Is there anything in here of value? How do I have... I've got two bullets left. But there might be some in here. In light, you can't hurt them. Light. Oh, I can knock that down. But I don't want to waste my revolver ammo on that, so no thanks. Is there anything over here, bro? Oh, there's more stuff over here. Thank you, resources. Probably someone's going to try and kill me. I cannot... I imagine playing this on nightmare mode is just basically like... 
basically running through the entire forest and trying to dodge everything that comes your way. Alright, I think we're nearly there. Ah, oh, more supplies, thank you. Thank you, video game people. There's a piece of the manuscript up here, I think. Yeah. All right. Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah. Federal business. That's all the FBI ever says. I mean, this is so channeling Carl McLaughlin and Twin Peaks, right? It's Carl McLaughlin, isn't it? I feel like my brain. I, it was very fun to see him in Fallout. Oh my gosh, it's Barry calling! Hello? Barry? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alice! I'm here. Yeah. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. I swear all the coffee the coffee is a tribute to Twin Peaks, isn't it? The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow. But she had called me. Maybe she's possessed by Babs too. Wake attacked by possessed object. It wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. Hey, Mike. How are you? It shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. We are, uh, you know, you're new here. Hey, welcome. This is super cool. Well, we have a very friendly chat. You're from Western Australia, hey? We're playing uh, Alan Wake, the original, um, so that because I kind of wanted to play this before I play Alan Wake 2. Um, and yeah, getting a butt kicked by shadows. You're old, <laughs> crippled gamer. <laughs> so we are all old on here. It's totally fine. We are all old. This is like, well, I feel old. Oh, I got a trophy. Five of the hidden chests. I'm just that kind of gamer, and I really needed that stuff, so I'm glad I did find it. Beyond. You can s Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't attack me while I'm busy checking my, uh, you know, YouTube comments. <laughs> That's just rude. Oh, Mike, well, you're welcome to uh, subscribe. Very welcome to subscribe. I always love having new people hanging out. Oh. We've just finished a big stream, kind of two months of Baldur's Gate 3, actually. Yeah, there we go. Maybe get some bullets in there. Yeah, just hit subscribe. Yeah. Um, what are your favorite games, Mike? Do you have any any particular faves, like horror games? Oh, Alan Wake. I games? could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. Mm. I hoped I could find a car from there, so we can get back to Barry. <laughs> Let's get back to Barry, the agent. Yeah, well, I've... Uh, g'day, mate. I have the Australian accent, of course. Um, yeah, I am from Australia, from the East Coast. Um, and yeah, just mad gamer. I've been playing for a long time. Uh, I also write games as well. that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over 
my blood game's very good, I swear. <laughs> is it sure? Let's I not do that again. Let's not do that again, because that was kind of hilarious. That was like a classic kind of Uncharted problem, you know, when you like make a jump in Uncharted and you're just like, I I suck at this. Um, hey, Cerus. Uh, would I do Five Nights at Freddy's? I don't know that I would. So I have never played Five Nights at Freddy's. And I know there was like a movie that came out. And I'm just like... I'm not sure like uh, whether I'd enjoy it so much. Okay, let's just run, yeah? Let's run. We're just gonna run. Run through this area, this weird area. Whoa, dude! The pipes are attacking me. Okay, it did warn me that the pipes were attacking me. Okay, come on. Let me through. Let me through. The, po the poltergeists are attacking me. Alright, let's get off this, this angry bridge. This bridge is very angry. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Mike. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is why... This is this is not a streamer-friendly game. It's like, I just want to have a friendly chat and the game is throwing things at me while I'm, like, having a chit-chat. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, I don't really, I don't think actually my PlayStation is public, um, but I don't actually have, like, I have, like, two friends on PlayStation, so teenager, better to just add me on, on YouTube and socials, because I'm actually not, a like, a multiplayer me. gamer. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness oh. could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Oh, hold to switch to heavy duty flashlight. Hang on. There we go. We have a. I can't actually twist and see what his heavy duty. Oh, it's a, like a, a. Things are getting. You know, things are getting real when he's got like a proper flashlight. By the end of this game, he'll have one of those big dolphin torches. Let's get in here. Thanks, Crippled Gamer! Yeah, it's not that I don't mind people adding me on things, it's just that, like, I just... I don't play multiplayer games. I actually, like... <laughs> I just... Whoa, 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 whoa! This is why I should stop talking. Um... Should I just go in the door? No, I can't just go in the door. Whoa! Yeah! These guys ready to be shot. Oh, whoa. Oh, dude, stop throwing me your. These guys are gonna have to go to Bunnings to pick up some more weapons because they, they've literally been shooting all their. Whoa, what is this bull man? Okay, that guy's down. Whoa, wait, like. Mm, okay. I'm sorry guys. I have to like was focus but. on the darkness could possess anything. And it was on, getting closer. On the heavy duty flashlight. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So funny. Okay, let's get over here and can we open that? Oh, we get some more supplies first, so we don't get our butt kicked. Another flare. We could just maybe... No, this isn't Uncharted. This is the thing. I'm like, yeah, I'll, fl I'll climb up there and no problem. <laughs> Texas. Yeah, I've had... um, Yeah, I've had some cool people from Texas on my stream, actually. I... um, Texas is one of the only... I've been to more than 25 states of the US, but Texas is one of the few places I haven't actually been to. Did I call 911? Whoa! Yeah, that's awesome. I just like dodged that. I wonder what happens if I. Oh, yeah, so if. Okay. You can actually do. Uh... Oh! 
Okay, that's cool. You can shoot the explosives in this game. Let's um get out of here, yeah? If you're up for it, tell us a bit about um, you know, where your folks are from. Like, you know, what's Texas famous for apart from cowboys? Is there anything else we should know about it? Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I, jump scares always scare me so much. Okay, guys. Classic video game technique. Reload. Yeah. We're getting the hang of this. Just don't let yourself get frazzled and it'll all be fine. Shoot the barrels is what you should do. Whew. Okay, we're gonna chill. All right, there's nothing here. I don't. Oh, hang on. This weird light. It, light. You can't hurt them. Come towards the light. Whew. Okay, we've had our little shooty bit. Had a little shooty bit. Uh, we're in the office. You know, maybe he should just give himself up to the police. Oh no, he's got to rescue his girlfriend. That's right, or his wife. Mmm, there's 20 lithium batteries. We're pretty well equipped, I reckon, for whatever's coming next. I've got my eye on this area. I feel like this this feels this gives me like as soon as I'm gonna press a button, I'm gonna get into a fight, aren't I? Yep. Oh my gosh, there's a there's an entire someone's using a piece of plant. Um, whoa. I dodged that. I swear I dodged that. Whoa, there's a, like a whole body. How do you fight a... How do you fight like a... What is that, a forklift? A tractor? Oh yeah. Whoa, dude. How do you fight a forklift? Whoa! <laughs> and also, Alan Wake's cardio is so bad he can't actually fight a forklift. Okay, there's more dudes. Um. Whoa! Alan Wake is in a corner. Whoa! <laughs> you get the okay. You get the you get the tractor to kill things for you. He cannot run to save his life, this dude. He's just so. Come on, open. Um. All right. We're just gonna. Whoa! I mean, usually in these games you're fighting helicopters and stuff. I've never been in a game where I'm have to fight a, like a, what was that, like a cherry picker? Alright, let's go and get ourselves... I guess we just have to shoot up with light. Magic light. Dude, dude, run, uh, run, run. Like, do not get hit by the tractor. Far out. This guy's got a death wish. He's literally, he literally will not run. He will not run. He's like, you think the adrenaline would get him, him kind of like pumped, right? What's that? That looks dangerous. The shotgun will be way more helpful. Okay, Doki. Tractor be gone. 
You can tell I don't work in like industry and stuff. Alright, we've got this guy down. Yes! Alright, we're gonna run away from the tractor. Oh yeah, we, we're dodging and rolling a bit better this time. Okay, how do All right, I've dodged that guy. Uh, okay, we've got that guy. doing any damage to this thing or not? I have no idea. Alright, we've got that guy down. Okay, I think the flares is protecting me somewhat from this. Alright, we're down to... So, do we just have to get this to open the door? Oh, dude, 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 dude. Okay, uh, let's get this heavy duty torch. Alright, uh, let's run out of the way. Whoa, okay, there's another guy here. Oh, this uh, scythe man, scythe man. <sighs> okay. What are we doing here? Maybe if I stand in a corner, everyone will kite. I honestly... Is that what I need to shoot the... I'm just gonna try and open the door. Or should I go up that hill? Can I go... Oh! No, okay, that was a bad time. Okay, that'll help. That, at least that, um... Oh, that was a nice dodge. I didn't even know that guy was coming. Okay, we've got... What is this? this I think that's stuck in a corner, so I'm happy about that. Oof. Okay, so the flare gun did not help. Okay, if anyone wants to give me any help on like fighting this uh, tractor thing, uh, you are welcome to advise because I am having a hard time with it and I'm not sure whether I just have to do a crap ton of damage or if I have to like shoot it with some... Okay, I'm going to stand here next to the Okay, this guy... Okay, we dodged this guy. <laughs> and you just have to kind of make sure that... Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm really struggling with this battle. I'm gonna run over here and see if I can just climb off this wall, right? Can I get out of here? No. Whoa! Nobody puts Alan in the corner. Well, I'm doing great today, guys. How are you all doing? Turns out I'm really good at playing Alan Wake. I'm getting killed by a tractor. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Take a wide sweep of the area.
So I'm assuming it's a poltergeist tractor, so we need to really just shoot it with light beams. Okay. Alright, we just need to keep dodging successfully and dodging the tractor. Alright. Uh, I assume I'm just beating it up. At least I like this when the... Oh boy, he's getting killed. He's getting so killed. Whoa, alright. Alan Wake. Let's get out of here. Oh, Alan Wake, do some bloody cardio. Yeah, well I'm getting the... the whoa! Okay, I've dodged this guy. I don't need any more. Damage! No, 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 no! Why can't this guy run? Like, he cannot run. He can't run. He just sucks at running. <laughs> okay. What do we do here? Because I'm like, I hate this. I hate this so much. So we're gonna go over here again. Wow, this is, this is like... This is worse than bloody... shoot that with torches maybe it'll keep it away from me whoa like it cannot dodge this thing all right so that guy's like Hit. Oh. Okay, that tractor is killing me. I need some more explosives. Uh, reload weapon, that's probably helpful. Okay, whoa! Oh, mate. Okay. Oh, this is sucks. <laughs> I'm really getting my butt handed to me by a tractor. <sighs> okay, what should we do? I've got my high level torch. Let's go this way. It seemed to like initiate the battle less quickly. I've got revolver ammo, and I've got... Well, we'll just keep that open for the time being. The problem is, right, all these guys keep coming after me at the same time the tractor is coming after me. Whoa! I'm getting the, I'll just run around in circles until the tractor takes out all the other dudes. And then just run when I need to escape from the tractor. Yep. And put flares out when I need to. That's a strategy. Whoa! Oh! Every time I turn my back on that tractor, it comes and kills me. It's like Christine. This is another, like, Stephen King novel. Uh... Cool. I was doing this, and you know, too, when you kind of get into a spiral, spiral of suckage when you, when you game, right? And you suck, and then you kind of, like, can't seem to get out of that... that spiral. So maybe I just need to stand in front of the gate and actually just wait for the, um, what's his name to come and, come and do the door. If I stand in front of the gate, will it actually just, you know, uh, 
Yep, we just stand in front of the door and see if it will come and actually... This seems like a really good strategy. Because that tractor just seems like it's stuck in a corner and it can't compute. Oh, is there a guy here? What? Okay, go away, dude. Okay. Definitely gonna just keep the, uh, while well, the tractor's caught in that. I'm very happy that the tractor is just caught over there in some sort of weird glitch, so. I'm a firm believer that you use all the mechanics of the game to win. And if it's a bit forked, it's a good strategy. Alright, so we've got some guys down. Don't suppose the door is opening? No. Another guy coming down the hill there. Oh boy. I'm just gonna shoot at this thing and hope this. Okay, we are just gonna stand in front of the door a bit longer. At least that one's kind of away. Whoa! No, 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 no! Don't kill me now! I don't have any more. Okay, I'm gonna need to go get some more. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I was doing so good. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude, that sucked. Oh, all right. Let's uh, just... Get a... Re... Oh. Why did I just do that? Reload weapon. Pick up batteries. We've got batteries. Find a vehicle. Should I just jump on the back of that tractor and use that? Is that my goal here? Should I just ride the tractor? Okay, so I'm going back over here again with my... Whoa, I just got hit by a bloody... Okay, reload. This is coming for me. If I stand in this corner, will it actually... Alright, we've got that guy down. Alright, that'll help. Energize. If I'm standing in a protective area full of light and trash cans, maybe it can't hurt me. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm always at the point where I'm like, I'm going to quit streaming because I... I'm struggling with this so much and I just like I need someone to look up a strategy I need to go online I need to cheat essentially because I am not getting this and that is bad my <sighs> weapon pickups I know I'm getting my ass kicked that's big smackaroos that's like that's like I'm just getting my <laughs> Oh my gosh, Justin, that's 100% what it is. It's basically like Mulder became, Mulder quit the FBI and became a novelist. That's it, that's it. Oh, so we dodged that. We dodged a bullet. I'm gonna hope that this doesn't have a very good turning circle. Alright, 
so we've got um we're just gonna use the tractor to kind of clean everything up a bit all right so that's can i just jump on this oh okay Okay, well that guy, I like that the tractor's just... Whoa, no, 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 don't get me up against the fence. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is, this is the thing though, like, I, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting potatoed. It is like, it sucks. It sucks. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I just am just like, uncle or something. Um, this game does have difficulty. I am on normal difficulty, so I don't know why this is so hard. Um, yeah, look, I love that you're comparing this to Dark Souls, because this is clearly, like, not as sophisticated as that, but we'll survive. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can get this done. There's a car, there's literally a car there, so why can't I open this door and just like be out of here and run away? Okay, I've got to keep one eye on the... One eye on the... Oh, got clipped by garbage pail. Okay. Why won't you open for me? Okay, so is this burning a hole in it? I don't know. I do like that we can get the tractor in the corner and just shoot at it from here. So let's try. It's getting very grumpy at us. Pristine the tractor, as I call it. I'm just gonna keep throwing. I'm just gonna keep throwing up like I love that the tractor is helping us with this problem okay tractor uh, while it's stuck there I'm just gonna shoot oh it's getting a bit of damage so Christine the potato tractor Alright, we've got that guy down. Let's run out of the way. Okay, it's gonna come after me. Yep. I'm gonna run over here and grab some revolver ammo. Maybe you I just keep calm and keep shooting at the tractor. Oh no, not the size dudes, they're terrible. Alright, I'm running over here. Get out of the way of the tractor. Do we need to shoot it with more light? Like, what's going on here? I have no ammo. I'm just gonna... It keeps, it, well, I mean, at least it keeps... Can I actually get on this thing? No, probably not. <laughs> it does keep running over my enemies, so that's the strategy I'm taking. Just get the enemies to run into the tractor. Oh, that's open! Oh, let's get out of here! What? I keep, oh my gosh. You mean I didn't have to run around after that thing the entire time? The door opened. This is the funniest thing ever. I safely call myself a noob right here, right now, on the street. <laughs> Some people have Dark Souls and FromSoft games. I have rogue tractors in the in Alan Wake, in my nemesis. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. Neither have I. I. Had a of hours to get to the coal mine. Neither have I. Oh my gosh. 
Here I was thinking I was going to have to take down the entire the tractor thing. Now. What is that even called? I'm still confused as to why he's going to the coal mine. Like, I feel like I've missed a plot point here. <laughs> right, Falls. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. I don't suppose this... I'm just going to get out and check that there's stuff here. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was Nothing probably there. in jail. Nothing there. I was okay. a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. Uh, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. It is a textbook case of insanity. He is crazy. Go to the coal mine. We're now doing GTA Alan Wake style, which is going to be funny. And like I said, I cannot drive in video games to save my life. So prepare to be entertained. I have now stuck the car. I've now like broke the car. I broke the game. <laughs> I broke Alan Wake. Oh well. <laughs> I broke Alan Wake, guys. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Let's go and get this four wheel drive, hey? There's another car here. We're just going to drive all the cars in Alan Wake. I'm going to review this game once I've finished streaming it, and I think my review is going to say Alan Wake needs to get himself a fitness plan. Alright, we're going to get down in the, in the Jeep. I think we were up here last night. This is a little zippy number. This is bringing back memories of driving the Mako around like planets in uh, in Mass Effect. Should we just swap out another car? I think we should just drive all the cars, right? Oh my gosh. This is Pat Mead and you're listening to KBS. Oh, is that stuff? No. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning all right. you to that looping music. He was detained. He, Alan Wake fugitive. We're swapping cars because we are fugitives from the law. So we've got to like pretend that. Whoa! Uh, that was where we were before. Let's not. Let's not go over that. <laughs> oh man. All right. I'm gonna like just calm down a bit now that we've done our. Adrenaline junkie moment of the game. Driving a safe little sedan now. Nothing could go wrong here. Sl low visibility ahead. I'm trying to figure out what side of the road I should drive on in this game. That is one of the problems I always have in, um, in like, I've been playing Cyberpunk and GTA and that. Like, I much prefer to play ride around motorbikes in those games because I always forget what side of the road I'm meant to be driving on. That's a cool car. We're going to have to drive that in a sec. Does he need a loop brake? Apparently not. Alan Wake does not go to the toilet. I think that's a problem, Alan. I think you need to go to the loo. All right, up into. Were we here before? Is a good question. I think Welcome we were. To KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking Let's about get out of here. We thing. were here. Well, Let's get this cool car. <sighs> oh, Alan, what will we do with you? So yeah, still trying to figure out what I'll stream next. I um, I kind of was wanted to do Broken Roads, but Broken Roads um, had a, well, a lot of reported bugs when it was launched, and so it's kind of like maybe not. 
All right, this is feeling very um, Starsky and Hutch like. Hey, we're at the coal mine. Visit a parking. <laughs> That's how good my parking is. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. It's a museum, hey? It belongs in a museum. There's a coal mine. I mean, I, I'm really hoping that there's going to be like a coal mine chase, like with some coal mine, you know. Maybe we'll, ch oh, manuscript page, got to pick that up. I've clearly missed some. Missing page. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. See, if I was Alan Wake's editor here, I would separate out a lot of this. It's like and the night wind blowing in through the, you know, you'd be like the night wind was blowing through the broken studio window. Main stared at Sarah, full stop. Um, you know, Main's voice shook with anger. Like you don't need to say barely controlled. That's just like too much excess verbiage. Um, and then I would be like, okay, I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. That sounds like cliche, cliche kind of like dialogue. I've heard that dialogue before. But Alan likes a hack, so. Um, Cauldron Lake. If this game doesn't end with a volcano, I'm going to be disappointed. Lots of lava. We need some lava. It's also getting much colder in Melbourne, I've got to say. Like, I'm wearing a long sleeve top tonight, and I feel like I need another jumper because it's cold. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. Mm. They are. So the is the weird lady. The turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. <gasps> he never showed? How rude. Hey, someone's Wait, calling. Where the hell are you? Change of plan. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm There's through being lookout. jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the Where is Alice? Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. Are we just gonna I had to get to Mirror Peak. Just gonna jump down here. Let's get to Mirror Peak. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Ugh. Was close. Oh. Maybe ever before. <laughs> creepy, creepy, creepy sounds. Alright, let's get out of here. I feel like I'm fleeing a chicken coop. Why do I get the sense there's going to be creepy shadow men here? Oh, manuscript page. Hang on. Get that. Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. Babs her Jagger. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger. It happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful. Full, full of, life. of life. He had never been a very happy man. And without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Gotta watch out for those muses, they're dangerous creatures. Ooh, we're gonna need a revolver. We've got lots of stuff, so we're okay. I think we're good. We've got a revolver. Maybe just. Yep. 
Oh, mate, that hit me too. Yep, we're just gonna duck that, duck that. Uh. Okay, we've got... Kind of like games where I don't have to think too much about pressing too many buttons at once. There's a lot of, like, buttons being pressed in this. Trying to really trying to kill me, poltergeist thing. There's a lot of evil objects. Oof, okay. A lot of novelists think the world is trying to kill them, it's true. I'm glad I've got this mass. Oh, let's get out of here. All my favorite weapons, the flashbangs. And the six gun scribe. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I feel like there's gonna be more where that came from. Is there anything over here? That thing's not gonna try and kill me. Oh. Is something coming out of here? Like, what am I. Oh, there's something there. What is that? Is that the thing I was just looking at? Oh. It's just odd, isn't it? Oh, climbing up the hill. Let's get up, up here. <sighs> Let's get up the hill. Uh oh, there's something in there, and maybe I should just throw a flashbang down at it. Yeah, that's gonna help. There we go, that's out of. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I did not see that coming. Oh, oof, I got a little fright there. A little bit of a scare. Oh. Hell oh, awake. Spooking me. Whew. Okay, let's get out of here. What the hell? What the hell is right? What is coming through that? I think I need to just get through here. Okay, I've got to way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Okay, we don't want to get electrocuted. That's a good goal. There's also lots of big canisters for shooting out, which means we're probably going to have to fight something at some point. Like this guy here. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them! Flashbangs are your friends, I've got to say. Yeah, nothing's all right we're gonna go to this little little house on the prairie i suppose is what we're gonna call it i bet there's gonna be more people here to try and kill us Whew, okay atmosphere plus oh we were just here but there's the generator flare gun good stuff but we turn the lights off and that's gonna be bad. Bad things happen in the dark. I should have probably healed my health, but anyway. Oh, 
Alright. Let's hopefully hopefully not get hurt. Oh. Okay, I think the best thing to do is wait for a whole bunch of them to get close and throw a flashbang at them. get the oh there's no more flashbangs oh god these things are killing me this I reckon I'm just gonna run for it let's run and <laughs> run like a maniac and get hit in the head how many axes has this guy got hit in the head with this is seriously like He's been hit in the head a lot by axes of late. I'm wondering if he's had some damage done, you know? Whoa! Whoa! I'm so gonna die here. Yeah, okay. We're gonna die. Oh well. Should have maybe healed up, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to shoot this thing first before it shoots us. Um, don't know if that helps. We're going to... Oh. Yep, okay, we got that. Well, we've got the flare guns. Alright, there is a whole bunch of guys coming for us. And I'm a bit nervous about that, but I think the main thing would be to shoot these. I think we just make a run for it. I think it's way easier to make a run for it. And run through these guys. That solves all my problems. And use a very effective flare. Dude, he doesn't even duck when you try to duck him. Like Nope, we've got nothing. Alright, we're gonna just have to do this the old fashioned way. And we're out of ammo. Whoa! Okay, let's just run. Oh! Downed by another Bunnings, you know, gift voucher. It's like. at us. Alright. Hey Chill, how are you? Oh I know right? They're such a pain in the butt. Okay that's that's good. I'm just gonna stand close to this. Hopefully that does a bit of damage. And then we've got let's get everyone in an area and we're gonna flashbang everyone. I'm probably gonna get hit by the flashbang. Another guy here. <laughs> Even worse than last time. Oh my god, I'm getting my butt kicked on this. Like, this is not fault of the game. <laughs> also, there's not enough romance in this game. I've just decided. That's all right. People, some people call me Kate. Uh, Germans actually call me Kate a lot because um, it's a thing. It's a thing. I think they struggle to pronounce cat. Gonna... Oh, I don't want to shoot that yet. Uh, the hat is actually not that distracting as you think. Um, it's actually pretty good. It's a classic. And I got it at the op shop of all places. But uh, considering the villain in this is kind of like... Alright. I need to get a flashbang going. 
All right, that will help. That will help kind of crowd control a bit, I hope. Mate, this guy cannot run to save his life. The thing that's more distracting is that, like, I'll start having a chat, right, on the stream. Nah, I'm gonna have to deal with some more people before I go running up there. No, the distraction. The thing is, I just want to have a chat on the stream, and then all these guys are trying to kill me. So, hey, Chili. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm just like this whole stream has literally been like me. Reload, 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 reload. Okay. Why don't we come up the middle here and just... Oh, dude. That was not cool. Alright. We're gonna get this out. Oh! The trains are trying to kill me. That. And then we'll just do one at a time, hey? Oh. <laughs> Alan Wake on a mode run. You died. <laughs> you died. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm channeling Barbara today. The, yes, I agree with you, Chili. The big flying objects are a bit excessive and they're using up all my ammo. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to try and dodge them when they come. See, that one was fine. We'll just keep our back to the wall here. At least we're protected from sneak attacks. Let's get a few of them down. Alright. But that guy, we're just gonna, we're literally like kiting around the edge. Oh, See? See? Kiting around the edge, great strategy. Keep your back to the wall and you'll always be protected. Okay, let's take a little moment, hey? How's your day been, Chili? <sighs> I think it's chilly because I... Uh, oh! The flying poltergeist weird things! I don't think... I, I think it's just hiding out of that room there. So battery, come on! Out of ammo. Okay, what have I got? I guess I've got this. <laughs> Need some more ammo, hey? <laughs> oh, Morgana, how's your day been? Like, what have you been editing videos, streaming much? I've been working on my novel again, just like Alan Wake. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a lie down after this stream. This has been very stressful. I thought I'd get through two chapters and instead I'm just getting my butt kicked by flying objects. Okay, is there something over. There's lots of explosive canisters here. I'm worried about. It. Oh boy! Ah. I made that look easy. I'm in full matrix right now. Yeah, no, bro. Uh, there we go. Whew, okay, I am not playing this game on Nightmare mode. I mean, I have nightmares already about this game. Ooh. Just no one in the dark. Justin, what were you saying about, I don't know, like, um, X-Files references? Trust no one? That sounds like familiar from something. Ooh, climb. Let's get up that ladder. 
Oh, two hour commute, my goodness. Okay, I can't deal with two hour commute. That's, that's tough. The other day the trains kind of failed. Like there was uh, like a trespasser on the line. So it, um, they basically, like I couldn't get home for two hours. Wait, touched by dark presence. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. <laughs> This is the myth of the creative genius. It's like they've taken over all the people who work in regular jobs, but the author is special. The special writer doesn't get taken over by evil because he has creative juice and nobody else is as worthy as the writer. Yeah, that's a big myth around writing. Like it's actually kind of a bit toxic, to be honest. Uh, it's like, it's like, you know, some, I think creepy music's going on. <laughs> so you went for a run. Yeah, hey, look, I run and I gotta say, like, it's really tough when you start out. I don't know how long you've been running for, but I've gotta say, it has helped me so much and my mental health. Junk there food is no also way delicious. The flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. I do really like, um, I can't lie, I do occasionally love a big hamburger and chips. My hubby's um, celiac, so I don't often get to eat gluten foods, which is, you know, makes it tough in life because I can't go and have dumplings or pizzas or hamburgers whenever I like. Oh, what are these these goobers? But the best thing about adulting is that, you know, you can make actually choices for your life that you want to make, like having a hamburger. You don't have your parents to tell you no. <laughs> or playing video games all day as a career. <laughs> My parents were watching my stream again the other day and I like, I was like, oh no. Okay, let's... I just find these flashbangs so much better. Hmm... What's over here? Anything shiny? Valuable? Oh! Oh my gosh, there's more people. Let's get those flashbangs going. Time to run through here like, ooh! Oh, I thought I dodged that. Come on, come on, die! Okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> I'm gonna need a nice cozy game after this. It's stressful, I <laughs> like stressful. <laughs> oh. Chili, what are you playing on your stream? I, I subscribe to your stream as well, and uh, what, are you, what are you playing at the moment? Well, Alan, Alan Wake 2, yeah, right? It's like, uh, this is why I'm kind of hanging out. I'm playing this because I'm like, I really want the full experience of Alan Wake when I play it. I want to get the Alan Wake. That's a very precariously placed coffee thermos. Ooh. Okay, there's light down there. That's nice. Yeah, so I... <sighs> I do want to play Alan Wake too. Yeah. What is this? 
There's a light. Spatters. Let's go in here. There's a crate. Bizarre. Yeah, so are you enjoying Alan Wake too? Oh, Walking Dead Telltale. Yeah, so there's that one and I played it I played the Game of Thrones one. Oh boy. Yeah, of course. As soon as you get any of these kinds of things, you're like I didn't mean to send them. My intention was not to use the, sh the flare gun, but okay, I've just used it. So that was... Oh, and this guy is still... I swear the local hardware store is definitely out of like axes, wrenches and whatevers. Yeah, Morgana, like, I started running, what, like a year ago, and I have to say, like, I, yeah, it's, it's tough when you've got health, like, health stuff going on, and you kind of, you know, you've got to look after yourself when you're doing that, but, um, I've got to say, like, the running has just really been such a good thing, and I've just, I, I actually, like, in one year of running, like, I'd run about, I try to run about three times a week. Um, I have dropped... I had no real plan. Oh, Alice I was going to tell us something. I was going to all the Please manuscript hold. pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Yeah, make him talk. Tough guy. Um, oh, we can switch to pump action shotgun. Woohoo! Yeah, I know, right? Sometimes it's really nice because I've been looking through all my collection of, um, there's one up here. Left or right, they say. So that's guiding the way. Oh! Actually, see them if I'm taking a light. Okay, that's, that's going out. <laughs> Nathan, kill it, kill it! Oh my gosh, Nathan, you've come in at the best time on the stream because I have literally been getting wiped by this game tonight. It has been so funny. Like, I've been so destroyed by this. Uh, this gun is not very good. Two for the price of one, that's a fun trophy. There we go. Alright, you're all down. Ha 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 ha. Oh, don't tell me we just came in here for a coffee cup. Legends. Games are hard, I know, right? I think we should normalize being able to, like, um... Whoa! What? Thunder and lightning. 50 taken have felt your fury and your flashbangs. Yes, thank you. Flashbangs are good, that's all I'll say. What's this over here? Don't tell me I'm running into a trap. There's a light up there. Alright, got rid of them. Can we turn this back on so I can get some health? Stand in the light for a little bit? I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Alright, back down the hill. Back down the hill we go. These are the best weapons in the game. Alright, we're going this way, away from wherever those guys are. Oh, okay. Phew. 
yeah anyway I was saying about kind of having having optics because a lot of the times too you know you're finding with you know media that they they end up going off shows like say you're on streaming um, you know there's some shows you can't watch anymore or some movies that's really hard to get now and I have a collection of games dating back to like what Nintendo 64 on my shelf over there there's like the original Pokemon Snap and GoldenEye and um, I've got to say like it's just really nice to have those things um, yeah but even for some of the older games I like them as a historical thing I don't think there's enough document like there's a discussion online about how there's not enough document okay 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 Woohoo! Let's just throw that at them and see what happens. <laughs> oh, this guy's a big bulldog. Okay. We, I love the pump action shotgun. This is a good thing. Oh, okay. We've done those. I'm not going over there. I think I just want to go up the hill and get out of here. Get into the light. Whew, okay. Breathe. Breathe deep. <laughs> and no, Nathan, we are not in Dark Urge mode. We are in uh, Alan Wake mode. Alan Wake, I... The dark presence was He'd be like a dark me bard. In the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Oof, creepy. It's a graveyard. Ooh, we're in a grave. Now this is giving me Dark Souls. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Okay, this guy is like just annoying, so... Ooh. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, buddy? Probably need to wait for them to get a bit closer before I can use the shotgun. Yep. Oh. Put that guy down. I don't have any more shotgun ammo, but with this guy who's being weird, I don't think I got him. Oh, but I dodged! I don't have oh flare gun. That's what we need for this guy. Okay, here he comes. Get him! No! Oh, he's killing me. If I run over to where the flare gun is, though. Oh, yeah! That was nice. Alright, I'm pleased about that. Oof. Okay. Oh, we, all, we all breathe now. Yeah, how's the lightning, light, not the lightning, how's the lighting today? Because I know we were having some struggles. Are you going to try and kill me? We were having some struggles last stream with how dark this game is. It is very dark. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Oof. Oh. Okay. This car's really, really not helping. <sighs> okay. Cross the ghost town, they say. What could happen? Nothing. No problems whatsoever. Let's go find us some ammo because we're pretty short on everything. <sighs> mm. 
Well, we've got coffee, so nothing's going to go wrong. Oh, I think there's something on the ground. Batteries. Okay. Helpful-ish. Need really need a shotgun. <sighs> Maybe some extra ammo? Nope. Nothing there. Oh, is that something over here? In here? Can I even get in here? Maybe you have to go around the front. Oof, okay. Alan Wake is hectic, that's all I'll say. <sighs> here comes something weird and scary. The bins are trying to kill me. Alright, let's get out of here before anything else tries to attack. <sighs> okay. I'm feeling very Mulder here, like, check the corners for any spies. Question for everyone watching the stream, like, were you a big X-Files fan when that was on? Like, I only really watched it as an adult because my parents would never let me watch it. Flying objects is a thing in Remedy games, although I much prefer when the, the officers are trying to kind of kill you a bit. with these objects. Oh, okay. I think I'm just gonna get out of here. Yeah, they're, they're really trying to hurt me. Let's get into this little shed here and see if we can sort of... Oof. I don't know what we just picked up, but... We can shoot at it from inside the building. Yep. Strategy here. Oh, okay. Let's get. Oh, this thing does not want to die. There we go. Should we? Can we? Are there any more supplies around here? No, there's just killer, killer train tracks, killer objects. There's coffee. All right. Let's. No, we can't get in there. Well, we'll just have to go this way down the hill iron horse he made the train engine run out of steam oh that is that is funny that's a funny one oh hang on there's a sign safe haven Okay, my little heart's beating hard. Yeah, I, I um, I kind of stopped when I watched it as an adult because, um, I, re I thought season four was amazing. Anything outside of writing is a struggle. I feel ill. <laughs> I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. You're giving me in his mouth vibes again. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. As someone who writes Lovecraftian games, <laughs> I mean, deep ones are a fun time. This is what I'm expecting at the end of the game. We need some deep ones. I was just taking some notes for my review so that I can, like, 
Oh, things are getting serious when we're... Well, we don't have any ammo, so let's switch out. Alright, nothing out there. Looking around the corners. Although that is like no deep one that I've ever encountered. Not that I've ever encountered deep ones. <laughs> uh, do any of you guys uh, read H.P. Lovecraft? I'm um, I like I have mixed feelings on him, but obviously he's had a massively profound influence on, on you know, media culture, um, especially you know, good old Cthulhu. Oh, we've got some snacks up this area. The kidnapper had sent me a text. text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Uh, I can't get up there unless there's a... Can we go this way? Can we go around? Yeah, maybe we can go around and there's some... Cr yeah! Good old crate. Love a crate. That flare gun's gonna help, for sure. Oh, I've already got a flare gun. But well, that's cool. Let's go this way. We better hurry up, otherwise, um... Otherwise he's gonna... I don't know what he's gonna do to my wife. To Alice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just get yourself, like, a gym membership. <laughs> You're a millionaire. Birds. This is going to be one of those things where you're like, the bird is going to throw you off the balance. Yep, I love shooting these. Yeah, let's just navigate that. Any more birds coming to... Yep. Down to two... They're coming from this. I don't know that they actually do that much damage, to be honest. Oof. Who doesn't love a mine in a horror game? I mean, there's so many mines in horror games, right? It's just like, it's it's a classic trope: creepy mine, trapped in the mine, trapped underground. There's mines in um, Until Dawn, which I pr I really like how they're in Until Dawn. They use them really well in that. It just feels very natural that they exist in the place where they are. Ooh, ooh. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. What could be a Cauldron Lake? Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's some ammo over here. We won't say no to that. I still feel like there's something over there, but we, I guess we go this way. Hmm. Why do I feel like someone's gonna really try and hurt me here? That's it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh man, don't throw that at me. better. Yeah, the rifle's helpful. That's a powerful weapon. Okay. I'll switch back to that just for the time being because I don't want to use up all my good ammo for the rifle yet. 
Yes, we're going down this way. More coffee. <laughs> Gone in the days of fetch quests, I think. I feel like we've moved on from fetch quests. Fetch quests in video games. I feel like narrative design has gone past this. <sighs> Helen running more. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Thank you, game, for telling me how to play it. I bet this is a kind of a puzzle. Here we go. Yeah, I think I can do that. Look at my competency. Wee! I am good at jumping things. <laughs> All right, off we go. Yeah, I I remember like the alien stuff in X File being pretty good, but then I I actually weirdly got introduced to the X Files through the X Files movie because I had never watched it, and then um, I need to jump on this level. This is clever. This is I like this. Okay, so there's a stair there, and there's also nothing here. Oh, there's, yeah, okay, we need to use this, probably bring it up. I like this kind of multi-layered, like, level design. I think one of the best ones is the clock tower in, um, if, in Uncharted 3, I think it is, or, in, yeah, I think it's Uncharted 3 has the clock tower, and that is absolutely, or is it 4? It's just magnificent environment design. It, the way it pieces together so well. And the sinking ship as well in Uncharted is just like, between those two is just absolutely mind bogglingly good. Okay, so we're here. Hang on, I just did a circle. So are we trying to get somewhere else now? Mm. Oh, so if we go, ah, we go one further up and get out of here. Right. I've earned my uh, white card today on the stream. I've learned about construction sites in Allen Lake mining. Please get out of the mine. All this is that stuff. I feel like there was some ammo there, but I'm can't be bothered. I want to get through this chapter and find Alice and find Babs and Barry. I'm very sad Barry hasn't joined us on this one. I guess we're going to the top. I don't think there's anything down the bottom, maybe? Mm, probably should have gone down the bottom, but anyway, let's get up the top. I'm curious how people finish this game in nightmare mode. <laughs> oh, is it worth a trophy? Maybe not. What's in the manuscript? Tor hits Nurse and Claire. Behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge, Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse and Claire was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, <laughs> "My hammer's up! Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench." <laughs> he brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming Tor's like a rock star. <laughs> I've missed something. What are we looking at? Oh, wow, look at this view. That is spectacular. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah. <sighs> 
don't think this actually goes anywhere, so I think I have to go back down the mountain, which is a metaphor for life. I do actually really enjoy climbing. Like, I don't climb professionally or anything, but I love hiking. So I've climbed a few mountains in my time. I haven't done it for a little while. Um, I've been getting back on the bicycle and running, and my goodness, my legs have been sore. <laughs> The birds. I really do like. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen the film. I read the book this year, the or last year, Daphne du Maurier. But I still remember the film from when I watched it as a teenager. It was so creepy. Let's just get some health. Now we're good. We love a cable car. Nothing could go wrong on a creepy cable guy. We're just going to stand here, hope nothing happens. I reckon Alan Wake's going to have some serious blisters at the end of this adventure. If I shoot, yeah, don't <laughs> keep an eye out for those birds. Hopefully, they don't get too aggro. Are they coming for me? Or are they just gonna hover in the air? Maybe I got rid of them all. Alright. Of course, this is not unadventurous. What is that? Oh no. Oh, not again. Not again. We're not going to. Uh oh. You're lucky you survived that, my friend. One thing I'm learning in this game is to always keep your weapon loaded. know what this creepy thing is in the... It's... Oh! Shit. <sighs> okay. Now my adrenaline's pumping. He's been through the ringer in this episode, I've got to say. No, we've got... We're good for revolver ammo? Okay. I'm good. Blink. Now I can pick up some more revolver ammo. <laughs> okay. Let us find. Hunting rifle, that's always very welcome. It means some things are gonna go down. Whoa! Oh, yeah, nice dodge. Alright, we put enough. like there's still people around here. <laughs> Novelist with a rifle. Always a bad combination. <laughs> I love how um Alan Wake's like assumption is that the book he's writing is coming true, right? It's like it's not 
oh, I've gone mad and I have, I really need to like get some mental health help. It's, it's literally my novel has come true. Oh, uh, the volcano is active. But it hasn't erupted since the 1970s. Hmm. Chekhov's volcano. We'll call it Chekhov's volcano. <laughs> so is there not a piece of infrastructure in this town that isn't rickety and damaged? Is this going to go full Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom? <laughs> Maybe he needs to wait for that guy to like lose his light. Right. Oh, okay. Let's get up this hill. And the bridge is out. Of course it is. But there's part of my manuscript here, so... Mott at Cauldron Lake. checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated. Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. The boss wouldn't be happy. It feels like there's kind of three parallel stories coming out here, right? There's, there's obviously Alan Wake and his wife. There's, um, there's the disappearance of like Barbara and, you know, how she's a little bit sinister. And the visions of her and the disappearance I think it's a murder at Cauldron Lake and then there's also the people who have been staying at that cabin through the years so I think that might be another kind of parallel and a okay I'm now stuck in the wall good jumping cat I jump good. <sighs> Kick. <laughs> kind of runs a bit like Hitman. <laughs> Give me awkward Hitman vibes. Ooh, what's down in this creepy? Because nobody ever doesn't want to go into a basement in a horror game. Tom, 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 Tom. C, N, and T, Z. Uh, I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. You talk to me on the TV, Tom. Yes, Tom. I miss you, Tom. I love you, Tom. That's not creepy at all. Are we good enough ammo? All right. while we're at it and we're just gonna go in here and have a look at what's <sighs> what's up here oh great I might need a flare right now 
Uh, flares are very helpful, I've got to say. This guy is not coming near me. Come on, dude. Oh, there's a lot more people. Oh, I find it very hard to talk. <laughs> I'm not concentrating on such a big group of people. Here we go. All those horrible people again. Creepy people. Pick up hunting rifle ammo. Definitely need that. Let's get out of here, friends. I am thinking this might, we might be coming to the end of the chapter, but who knows? It feels like it has been going on for a long time. Come on, jump. Jump, man, jump. <sighs> Can we go down the hill? Yep. All right. Now I'm gonna have to go home and watch the X-Files after Cauldron this. Lake. I Cauldron thought I could make out the spot where the Cauldron. island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Now he's gonna get to a boat. I know Barry got drugged at the start of this episode by the maid, not now. the maid, the I like had waitress. To get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Um, and he was fast asleep on her coffee table near the cops. Uh, and I'm very hey, I'm sad because this game should be modded to make Barry the hero. Let's face it. There was something down here I thought I saw. Nope. Yeah, there's um. We don't know where she is. Uh oh. This guy's been lying the whole time. Alan should shave a moustache, that I think, like a Tom Selleck moustache. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, that was cool. He's in the water. He's gone for a swim. Yeah, I reckon Barry's gonna be the one guy who survives this whole whole psych horror thing. If Barry's not an Alan Wake 2, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> this is just a montage of me writing my novel. <laughs> Previously on Alan Wake. Okay, I guys, I that took a lot longer than I thought. So I think I'm going to call the stream there for this evening. It's been a fun two and a half hour stream. Um, but next time we'll probably hit up episode four. And you can watch me like, you know, try to kill tractors again and again. Um, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Chili. Barry's not an Alan Wake 2. That's just disappointing. And if Barry dies at the end of this, I'm I'm gonna make like a tribute video on YouTube. A Barry tribute. Why Barry is the best. And why we need Barry Barry the Agent 2, not Alan Wake 2. I'm sure it's very good. Um Yes, so I'm not streaming this weekend because I'm, um, you know, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm going for, to visit some friends. And then uh, next week, next Wednesday, tune in for Alan Wake Part the Fourth. Um, and let's chill and have